Welcome to part three of the Nutrition and Surgery modules. My name is Laura and I'm a registered dietitian at Toronto Western Hospital in the Bariatric Department. Today I'm going to be talking about protein, both why it's important and how to make sure you're getting enough. When you're on a low calorie diet, it's extremely important to make sure you're getting enough protein so that your body loses fat tissue instead of muscle. If your diet is too low on protein, then you risk losing muscle, which can slow down your metabolism and then slow down your weight loss. In addition to helping the body to lose fat mass instead of muscle, protein is also important to help minimize hair loss after surgery, to promote healing, provide energy, and maintain your metabolic rate. Because of the size of your stomach after surgery, you will not be able to get enough protein through just food. Being on a liquid diet for a few weeks after surgery and possible intolerance to meat or other high protein foods can also make this difficult. That's why it's very important to be having your protein supplements until you're able to meet your protein requirements through food. The goal will be to drink two protein shakes per day. Pictured here is Premier Protein Shake. It's available in three flavors and can be bought in bulk. It's an example of a pre-mix shake that you would just open up and drink. Protein powders are also available that you can use to mix with water or milk to create a shake. Criteria on how to pick a protein shake or powder is outlined on page 48 to 50 of your nutrition manual. A 30 gram scoop of protein powder should have 20 to 30 grams of protein and less than five grams of carbohydrates. You can choose whichever protein supplement you prefer, provided it falls within these requirements and is not a meal replacement. An example of a meal replacement would be Ensure, Glucerna, or Boost. One way to make sure that it's a protein supplement and not a meal replacement is to check if it's labeled as a protein isolate. A protein isolate means that they've removed the carbohydrates and fat and have isolated the protein. If you find a protein shake that has more than 5 grams of carbohydrates in it, but also has some fiber, then you can subtract the fiber from the total carbohydrates to see if it falls within the requirements. Your goal, as mentioned previously, will be to have 60 to 80 grams of protein per day. The dietitian will let you know if you need more than this amount of protein. We recommend buying unflavored protein powders that you can mix into things like soups or yogurts, and also buying flavored protein powders or shakes. They come in all different types of flavors like chocolate, vanilla, or caramel. There's also some protein supplements that are more like a juice. Examples of this would be Revolution and Protein 2O Water. Some individuals like to add these into their diet just to add a bit more variety. Fairlife milk is another great source of protein as it has 14 grams of protein per one portion. It's also available as a chocolate milk. So as you can see, there's many different types of protein powders and shakes. We encourage you to start to trial some of these so that you're prepared for after surgery. You can buy protein powders and shakes at Walmart, Costco, Bulk Barn, GNC, health food stores, and many grocery stores. There's also available online on websites like canadianprotein.com. If you have any questions about protein powders or shakes, please contact the registered dietitian at Toronto Western Hospital in the bariatric department.